When John Bersenio was elected to head the People's United Party, one of the first things he took on was extending a hand of cooperation to the government of Belize when it comes to the discussions and negotiations between Belize and Guatemala. The Barrow administration, however, has seemingly been giving the PUP a hard time when it comes to inclusion into those meetings. Opposition leader John Bersenio spoke on his party's interest and concerns in the Belize-Guatemala territorial differendum and their recent decision to not continue taking part in these discussions. If there is one issue that Belizeans expect us to remain united, it is the Guatemala's unfounded claim over Belize. It is for this reason that my party and I have done everything possible to work with the government in a bipartisan effort. Regrettably, this effort has become a partnership of convenience by the UDP administration. We in the PUP represent over 67,000 Malaysians that voted for us in the last election, and we owe it to them and to every other Belizean to ensure that the government protects every single inch of Belizean land and water. That is why I have decided that until the government is prepared to work with us in a meaningful partnership on this issue, we will not attend the talks in Washington, D.C. on um, next week, Tuesday. With the decision to not allow themselves to be bullied by the government of Belize, Bresenio also spoke of several demands they have put together to the government, including the internationalization of Guatemala's aggression. We in the PUP demand that Guatemala respect our territory and immediately stop their armed forces from entering Belizean waters. Two, we categorically reject Guatemala's illegal annexation to the Sarstone, and three, we call on the government for the appointment of a national team that will deal with the Belize-Guatemalan referendum. The national team will have three objectives. One, coordination. Two, develop a cohesive strategy with dealing with this issue, and three, internationalize Guatemala's illegal tactics and um, behavior. Opposition leader John Bersenio made these remarks earlier today at the PUP's secretariat in a press briefing. Yesterday, we told you of the incident where Will Mejia of the Belize Territorial Volunteers and members of the media were blocked from the Sarstoon by the Guatemalan Armed Forces. Opposition leader speaks on that incident. Yesterday, we were very disturbed when we heard that the media was blocked from entering the Sarstoon River, our portion of the Sarstoon River. They were blocked by the Guatemalan Armed Forces and it was clear that they were in our territorial water. That is why we are demanding from the government that they send a very strong diplomatic note to Guatemala and copied to the Organization of American States, the OAS, demanding that the Guatemalan armed forces remain on their side of the Sarastoon River.